Hello, I'm John, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to move those VHS movies over to a PC or uh, an iPod or iPad so that you can watch it at a later time. So let's talk about how to do that. Why would you want to do this? Um, in my case, what I like to do is watch movies when I don't have Wi-Fi, uh, especially when I'm traveling or um, um, perhaps you might be going camping or uh, in my case uh, on cruise ships where there's limited movies in the cabin and uh, you'd like to catch up on some of those old classics. So um, let's talk about uh, how to do that. Now, first of all, these movies, uh, whether they be uh, VHS or even uh, DVDs, are available at the Salvation Army store or uh, thrift shops, very, very cheap. Um, getting it uh, moved over to a, a PC or a, an iPad can be a bit of a process. What you need to do that um, is a uh, video capture card. There's several on the market. The one I used is uh, Dazzle, looks like this. And it comes with um, the software to uh, load it, which is, uh, in this case, Studio uh, HD. So uh, there's other software products that'll capture it too. If, uh, once you capture it, uh, you're going to be capturing it in Studio, uh, in Pinnacle Studio in an AVI format, which is very, uh, uh, very heavy on disk space. So it isn't necessarily efficient to, um, to watch it um, in that format. So uh, you need to move it over to a, a compressed format. So that process uh, is called rendering and um, then you can uh, copy it on to um, move it over to your iPad or your iPhone. Um, the problem with iPads and iPhones uh, is that the amount of storage that comes with it is not really adequate to put a lot of movies on, but um, certainly um, it, is, uh, it is possible to have maybe one on, but um, in my case, I bought the... Uh, the iPhone with lots of storage, paid the extra money for it. And that's because specifically I wanted to watch movies. Um, but an inexpensive way to do that is to find an, um, an old netbook. A netbook is uh, really good at um, storing movies uh, because it has a hard disk in it and uh, you can keep a, a lot of them on. And even the, um, the old sl uh, slow netbooks work pretty well at uh, just playing the movies if you're not into uh, intense quality. And certainly that doesn't matter when you're watching videos that were brought over from VHS. In this video, I won't get into uh, the how to operate the software, but certainly uh, each of the software packages has instructions on how to go about this. Um, I will explain a little bit to you about the Dazzle. The Dazzle um, has a couple of forms of input. One is the RCA, your old familiar red, yellow, and white, and that can hook into the back of a VHS uh, video machine or VCR uh, very easily. And uh, the other format that it uses is S-Video, so um, DVD players or uh, I would expect some uh, VHS machines have that. Uh, S-Video is certainly a superior format. Um, and in any event, if you just want to capture those movies uh, easily, um, the uh, uh, RCA uh, format is easy. So um, that's what you're going to need. One bit of advice is um, most VCRs uh, that I've seen, or at least the one I own, is mono, not stereo. And it's a big issue when you're uh, watching a movie. You want uh, the sound, uh, if you're wearing headsets, um, earphones, you want the sound to come in both ears. And if it's uh, the VCR is only mono, you're only gonna get it uh, 
uh, coming uh, on the one side and that can make it difficult to listen to. So my recommendation is you get a, vid uh, a video splitter cable, RCA, and um, they can be purchased for five to ten dollars and uh, that's how uh, I solved that problem. So um, yeah, uh, again, these movies can be bought for cheap. What I do is go um, make the recording. Um, I don't distribute it because that's uh, copyright infringement. But what I, what, uh, what I do do is uh, I put that on to um, my uh, iPhone or my netbook and watch it. And uh, then I take these movies and uh, re-donate them back to Salvation Army. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, bye for now. Thanks. Tell him you've made a mistake. You don't want to give up your career and live on a farm. But he's already bought the farm. And the license. And the ring. Oh, I can't tell him. All right, I will.